Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 WRC 23 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm joined in the studio by Anna Markland who is the uh, newly elected chair of Committee 5. Anna, welcome to the studio. Well, thank you very much for having me. Now, I want to ask you, in your opinion, why is the World Radio Communication Conference an important event? Well, connectivity is important, right? I don't think anybody would contest that. And this is what it's all about. Technology is developing rapidly and we need to ensure that the international treaty of the radio regs are up to date and uh, used as best as we can. Spectrum and the associated orbital resources are a national resource that is scarce. We need to use it wisely. So we need to all agree here in Dubai. Could you tell us a little bit about the work of the committee that you're chairing? Yes, happy to. So it's this, as usual, this, the committee of satellite and scientific agenda items doing very important work on the science side of things. We are looking to Earth uh, exploration satellite services. We are looking into space research services, both new allocations and increased protection. We're also looking to space weather to define it in the radio regulations. And this, we're also looking at meteorological observations to improve that. And this is safety for the full public. But on the satellite side, we're also looking to uh, new allocations, specifically in the Americas, for the Americas to receive what Europe is already having. And we are looking to improved satellite regulations within the existing allocations. So we have both specific agenda items that will um, enable specific applications. One of those are Earth Stations in Motions, a hot topic that we hear called eSIM, providing broadband connectivity on the move. Um, but we also have the standard uh, agenda items 7 and 92 that are looking into generally where can we increase the application of the radio regs today. There's been a big push in the last uh, few years to increase the participation of women at WRC. How successful do you think that's been? Well, I think it's been successful, but we still have a long way to go. I know that from WRC 2000 to 2019, the women participation has increased 6% in 19 years. So it's a good start. Also two weeks ago, when we adopted the new gender resolution, I think we're all very happy about that. And I think that could give it another boost because it is needed. I think it will take a lot of resources from all us all, the full community, if we're to close the gender gap. We're not, we're far from being there. It's a very male dominated environment. What are the things you think that could redress that? Well, I think it starts from, it's not to be primarily addressed in this context. I think it is a work in progress. More women in ICT more women participating, but also more women taking on leadership roles. And what impact do you think that the outcomes of this conference will have on the future of radio communications? Well, I think it's hard to uh, assess already now, uh, being still in the beginning of the conference, what the outcomes like on each agenda item will be. But I'm confident that we're gonna find consensus and we're going to find the appropriate solutions that we all can agree on and that will provide connectivity for all. I think we should not lose target of connecting the 2.6 billion people not yet connected. And I think we're going to take one more step ahead. Well, Anna, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Congratulations on your election as a chair of Committee 5. And we look forward to catching up with you again in the not too distant future. Thank you.
And if you've enjoyed uh, this interview, which I'm, I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels on SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts from. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.